Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. See this? This is Muffin. So, if you're new, welcome to Grams and Me. <laughs> and I have to tell you that that little kitty, she was terrifying me with this Christmas tree. <laughs> so this video is about Muffin, how this Christmas tree survived Muffin. So I am cat sitting. She belongs to my granddaughter, my granddaughter, the one that named me Grams. That's why this is Grams and me. So uh, let me tell you what I did. What I did was I did not put all the ornaments that I normally uh, put up because they're fragile and uh, they break. And so this kitty cat, this is the first cat, I've had cats before, but this cat would run up the tree. And this is a nine foot tree. I'll show you. So I'm already, already taking things down. The house is a mess, but I wanted to share this with you on what you could do for next year. This is a nine foot tree and she would run under the tree and climb up all the way up there, right there in that spot. So, um, what I did, actually, I didn't know that that would stop her, but I found out. So that's why I'm sharing this with you. I put big boxes for their Christmas presents. I still have them there. <laughs> These are the gifts I bought for myself. I haven't opened them yet because one is a silhouette and I want to share that with you. But let me tell you, when I put, put the gifts on there, she stopped going up fast. It's kind of dark, I think. We're losing light now. So once I took them off, once you know I gave out the gifts and all, the cat started <laughs> fast running up the tree again and shaking it this tree would shake so as you can see that um it's a like a rose bush you could use it as uh for a flower arrangement and i bought that at joanne fabrics and i was gonna make a a flower arrangement and then because of the cat i decided you know what instead of putting my angel that might fall and break i put that up instead and it worked out well so it would shake and it wouldn't knock it down. And uh, I mean, it wouldn't shake. The cat would shake it. So here's some little ideas. Since I didn't put up all my breakable ornaments, I did put a few. Like here's one. And what I did is um, I made sure they were fastened where the branch was bent over, you know, like this. So it stays in and kind of clamped it. But I bought these, as you can see, these are picks. See, and I bend them. Can you see how I bent the picks? And then I hung them up like an ornament. See, these I bought, th that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And they come in also red right there. You can see red. And I bought this at Hobby Lobby. And I bought this back in November. And they were all 50% off. Everything was. I, I don't recall ever seeing that before. It's 50% off uh, just a few items, but everything was 50%. It was an expensive day. So these are picks. Can you see? So that way the cat wouldn't break it. And often she would knock them down and I'd have to put it up. And my, <laughs> my branches opened up. She left spaces, holes like this, because she'd be climbing up like right there. And um, what I did, there's a shadow. Um, as you can see here, this is a pick. And then I put, where is it? Is that not it? Ah, can't even find it, can't tell what is what. Here we go. This is a pick right here, as you can tell. And this is like greenery that Michael's and Hobby Lobby sell. It's supposed to be like a, 
a swag, I guess, so you could put uh, ornaments and then put it on the wall. Well, I stuck it in there and fixed it up so you don't see the big gap in there. And um, uh, this is also a pick. Try to put some light here. But look. And I just placed it like that. So this year, that's what I had for ornaments. It's just a bunch of picks where it made it safe and yet pretty for my tree. These are poinsettias. They came in different colors. This one has glitter. See? I just stuck them in there. And you could see it, it looks pretty good. Even though I don't have all those fancy ornaments. I put a few. <laughs> this I bought this year too. It's not fragile. Here's a little uh, poinsettia bush and just stuck it in there. And let me see, here's another. Oh, this is a, a wreath actually, a little small wreath that you can use also around candles. And, um, but it's called a wreath, but it's kind of like a candle ring. And so I also put that in there. So. Here's another pick, a different type. Here's more of those styrofoam balls. Here's another pick, a different kind. Here's another one. It's different. Different type. Okay. Ah, this fell. Here's another big pick so that's my tip for you on how to keep your cat for a little while out of the tree at least not running fast it would be to put those boxes underneath so get your presents ready <laughs> and wrapped and that way she slowly goes up look there she is muffin hi muffin see her what are you doing muffin hmm did you see her jump up yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm taking it down already. <laughs> but anyways, I did put stuff that was not fragile. And that way you can still celebrate Christmas and enjoy um, Christmas with your cat. Sure, she is, my friend. So another thing, you know, my uh, tree never tipped over is because it has four legs that kind of go out like that. And so it doesn't tip over but if you only have three that's when it makes it a problem and um so the picks the poinsettia flowers here's another flower this one's made out of like velvet and see just stuck it in there um oh here this is another see look at how big that is okay and i just stuck it in there and so if you don't have a cat this is st still good so you could um cover up those big gaps after your branches starts start falling down you know it will cover it up it won't look uh you, you won't see the big gaps like right there and so i hope this helps you for next year so you could still be happy with your christmas tree and your cat hi muffin <laughs> So please um, like my video. Well, of course, if you like it, like it, please. And if you could kindly subscribe, if you could subscribe, I'd be so happy. So please subscribe to my channel and um, like it and tell others about it because I'm going to have a lot of tips and different things. This is for Christmas and cats, and I'm going to even talk to you about uh, investing, okay? Because as grandmas, we have a lot to do. You know, we have to travel, be a woman, and we still have our grandchildren to do crafts with, but we're still a woman. <laughs> so I love you and have a good day. Bye-bye.